Inside this box, there are four vintage coach bags. I can't wait to crack into it, guys, and I've been waiting to set everything up so that I can film. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate your joining me today. Um, as you can tell, I'm really excited because I cannot wait to see what is in this box. First of all, I've been really ill with stomach flu and I'm out of work for a couple of days and I really just haven't had the energy to do much of anything. You could see I'm extra pale and not really in the most energetic of spirits, but I'm gonna to try to pull through because I am just dying to see what's in this box. So this video comes as a courtesy of my friend Eva Fuchsia Floyd. Please go over, subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. She's just awesome. She has an amazing, amazing collection and she's a sweetheart and she's my friend. And she sent me a box full of Vintage Coach, which she calls Vintage Coach Sampler. So there's four bags inside here. And this little note is a guide to everything. So I'm gonna unpack it. She did such an unbelievable job. First of all, I had no idea that she was sending this. It was a huge, huge surprise. She said she was gonna send me something, but I had no idea what it was. So when the box came today, I said, geez, I said, it's really, really heavy. I wonder what this could be. So, oh, I know what this is. Okay, I'm gonna set the box down next to me. Heidi's taking a nap. So this way I have a little bit more room to go through everything. So this is bag number one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> this is the coach Regina and she has her little hang tag and on Eva's note she said that she had to condition it because it was a little bit dry it feels pretty good but I can tell that the tag is a little bit dry which you know I even if you don't like these hang tags I think that it does complete the bag you know a lot of people are looking to get it with the hang tag so I don't want to get rid of it but I have been interested in this style for such a long time as you could tell it's a top handle and it has the vintage turn lock and inside it has a strap an adjustable crossbody strap which you could see is in two parts so I'm not going to fiddle around with the strap just now I'm going to have to come back and get back into that but it seems, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a good crossbody length. You could tell that this is a smaller capacity bag. I know for sure that I can use this with some other straps that I have. I have some gold chain straps, and I also have the Coach Rainbow Strap, and I would love to see how the Rainbow Strap looks with some of these. So I unstuffed it just so I can show you the inside. There's a zipper pocket along this back wall. And you can see that there's a zipper. And inside of these, it's just the raw leather. And the story patch, I don't know that you're gonna be able to see it so well because it's a small bag, but the story patch is embossed on this back wall. And this is in burgundy. And I think that this is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I, I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <sighs> Thank you, Eva. I'm, I'm just blown away. All right, let's go on to bag number two and I will get back to Miss Regina here in just a second. I don't wanna mess up the strap, so I'm gonna just put that down for now and restuff. Ugh, this is this is like Christmas. So, bag number two. 
I'm just going to reach in and pull something out and get my little note over here on the side. And bag number two. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the Coach Manor. As you can see, it's all black. This has some nice weight to it, guys. And this bag, Eva also said that she had to condition. And I probably will condition this a little bit more, even though it feels pretty good. I think that it can definitely use a little bit more, but it's certainly, certainly feeling really, really okay. Uh, the hardware looks good. Maybe I can just spruce it up with a little bit of Brasso. Probably the same on the little ball chain here. And inside, this is what it looks like. It's two compartments with a zipper pocket in the center. And then in the back, we have a zipper pocket that was opened and I just closed it. And you can see, that, again, the story patch is embossed on the back wall, which is gonna be very, very difficult to see. So I'm gonna do a little spin of her as well. This is just absolutely amazing. The original crossbody strap is missing, but I probably would never use it. I would just use this as a hand carry. And here is what she looks like. This bag's in amazing shape. Here's the bottom. The bottom is just as smooth as smooth can be. And on the natural light, I'm gonna come up a little bit closer so that you can see. This is really in just amazing condition. Okay, be still my heart. I love top handle bags. So to add these, it's just incredible. So here's the Ava, not Ava, Regina. And here is the Manor. So you can see they both have a curved flap and there's pretty good difference in size between the two, even though at first glance, when I put them one in front of the other, it doesn't seem that way, but this Regina is quite a bit smaller and no less adorable. Okay, okay. So let me get along. These next two, Eva says, are in the condition that she found them in. So she hasn't done any work to these at all. So some of these that might need a little TLC, I can ask my friend Ed, Ed Braun, and Ed, oh my God, this color. Ed is a whiz at fixing bags. So he will be able to give me some hints. This leather is just perfect. It's perfect, oh my God. Guys, the color of this bag is absolutely magnificent. And I've been wanting a brown bag, a true chocolate brown bag for the longest time. And this is it. This leather is like butter. You can't imagine how soft this is. You just can't imagine. I mean, it's just exquisite. So inside... Now you can really tell how brown it is. This is the inside suede, the reverse of the leather. And then it does come with a strap. So here is the strap. And I'm guessing that this is the original strap. It must be. Now I'm looking to see, okay, it doesn't say coach, but color-wise, color-wise you can see that it is indeed 
the same color. So it's definitely the original strap. And also this is an antique gold hardware and it matches the clasps. So this is kind of like a claw clasp. And I like how the D-rings, I don't know if anyone's really noticed it, but these D-rings really look like a C. Can you see that? I have been interested in the Willis for so long and it's just amazing to get this. So it's got the front pocket, a very large compartment and a beautiful zipper. And again, the story patch is embossed. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult to see it, but it is embossed on that back wall. This is like a fantasy, guys. I mean, th this this is like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Let's put this on the side. Before I do, I'm gonna give you another full tour. So here's the front, the sides the back, other side, the bottom. And I mean, the most that I would do to this maybe would be to add just, just a little bit of probably conditioner. There's a tiny little scuff over here, which will just buff out. In fact, kind of already did. So you can see right there, there's a tiny, tiny little speck that's over there and maybe a couple of little scuffs. I mean, you're going to find that with this type of leather anyway, but nothing that's out of character or out of the ordinary. I'm just bringing that out to make the point that leather is going to patina over time and you're going to eventually see some marks and some evidence that this was worn at one point, but this bag is just magnificent. Okay, you'll get more love later. I'm gonna put you down now. And then last but not least, and that color is mahogany. And last but not least, we have Wow. Okay. This is the court bag. And this is the bag that they updated to become the Coach Cassie. So I'm going to do a comparison between the court and the Cassie eventually. And this color is tan. But really, it kind of looks like it, it's the British tan. It's definitely the traditional coach British tan. Tiggy, can you see? Look what Aunt Eva gave us. Do you smell Charlie? Maybe he feels Charlie. Anyway, back to the bag. This is stunning. I mean, absolutely stunning. British tan was my favorite color when coach used to make it. So here we go all around. Here is the bottom. And let's open it up. And now you'll really see. Here's the strap and it's a dog leash strap this time. And it matches perfectly. So there's stuffing. So it's one large compartment, the slip pocket in the front. Oh, Tiggs. Oh, Tiggy. He jumped down very quickly. And then the story patch in the back. And again, you have a zipper pocket. So. Here it goes. Every one of these bags has the tab for the zipper pull or the zipper pull, I should say, still attached, which 
it, it just amazes me, absolutely amazes me that people have kept these in such amazing, amazing condition. So you can see this top handle is like the Pochette Matisse and the Cassie. This is exactly like the Pochette Matisse top handle. In fact, the Pochette Matisse top handle is more like this handle than the Cassie, if you see the shape of it. And then there's a nice slip pocket in the back. And again, these are all 100% leather. And they are amazing, amazing. So I can't wait to really get into it and have some fun dressing these up, playing with them, and really getting a feel for which of these tiles I love. But I love them all. I love them all, guys. Oh, gosh. Eva, I don't even know what to say. I am just so floored and blown away. This was like the most amazing package I, I think that I might have ever gotten, ever. <sighs> All right, one little spin. So here's the other side. Here, here. And again, there's really no wear on this bag. The leather is in beautiful condition. I mean, there's wear, but there's nothing that's really concerning. Maybe a little bit of rubble in this corner, but again, this is gonna be able to come out with some conditioner. This will help it to basically blend in with the rest of the bag. But guys, I am just, okay, I'm gonna just stop now. I'm gonna stop. Let me know which bag you would like for me to review first and what information you'd like for me to share because I'm going to be really busy getting to know these bags a little bit better in the coming days, weeks, months even. Thank you all so much for watching and Eva, I appreciate this more than you ever can know. It's, it's like an early Christmas. It's like a couple of Christmases. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, I will see you in my next video. Hopefully, I'll be able to film another video sometime this week. But if not, definitely Saturday for sure. Thank you so much. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I love you all, and I appreciate all the support that you give to me. I will see you soon. Bye.